da, da, da. Da, da, da. Rebar placement tolerances. When we talked about the cavity width when you're laying the brick, I, I made a reference to the mortar fins or mortar protrusions. And that's kind of an annoyance in a cavity wall or, 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 or it can be a real detriment or a real obstacle to to, mo to, to allowing the cavity you know, to effectively do its job to drain moisture. But here it's the same idea, but with structural implications, right? So if your mortar fins are sticking out too far, uh, you could have a problem getting the, getting the grout hung up on them. Okay. If something interferes with the grout going all the way to the bottom of where it's supposed to go, you've got a problem, all right? So for that reason, the code limits us to a half inch maximum mortar protrusions. A good bricklayer is not even gonna have that. He'll just take his trowel and knock those mortar fins off. So when we're using coarse aggregate grout, um, see uh, ASTM C476 has two types of grouts, coarse aggregate and fine aggregate. They're, they're, they're both designed to the same strength and that is 2000 PSI, 2000 PSI or to the F prime M of the wall, whichever is the greater, okay. Um, other than that, the difference between fine aggregate and coarse aggregate grout is just the size of the aggregate. Okay, so we need half inch clearance for coarse, quarter inch minimum clearance for fine. And then we need uh, two inches cover for the outside face, inch and a half over the inside face.